Well, I've got to go do some back endangering physical labor here real quick. I need to drain the oil out of this predator inverter. Generator. And rather than doing it by putting it out somewhere, since I don't have really any room or place to do it, I'm going to do it in the back of the van. This is the, I got this in Walmart. It's called a flow tube. I think it's an oil changing uh, thing with a 1.5 liter, 13 quart, 13 quart, 16 quart capacity. So it's basically for taking uh, oil out of the vehicles. So I'm going to use it for this. Basically, uh, let's see, where is this wheel? I'm going to try to lift up this uh, inverter generator and stick this underneath. Now this is 100 pounds, and not real heavy for my use, but pretty much heavy for my dotage of my old age. So I'm going to see if I can get this done uh, without a trip to the emergency room. So uh, I'm going to not going to be able to record this because I'm using a handheld camera. I don't have a tripod with me. So I'm going to have to uh, do this so you won't see me strain pointlessly. So uh, let's see if I can get this done. So, all right, let me uh, let me stop this and then uh, see if I can get this underneath. Okay, I got it up there. It actually wasn't that horrible, so I still have a little upper body strength in my old age, and I didn't tweak my back, so it looks pretty good. So basically, all I got to do now is to be able to drain it, and I can drain it into this little plastic container. I did remember to remove the little uh, the little uh, cover because that would have been that would have been disheartening if I had not removed that and put this on top of it first. So now I should be able to get this drained and uh, hopefully uh, take care of the oil change. Well, it will take care of the oil change, but this is going to make it simpler if I just pop this on top and do this, and I won't have to you know, bring it outside the van. Uh, by the way, I'm talking about the generator for the AC, and everybody realize, I understand, I'm going to have to have an external rack to put this thing on. I know that if I was to start my generator in the back of my van, it would be effectively a gas chamber. And I haven't committed any capital acts, and I don't want to go that way. So I just wanted to let you know, that even though I'm doing this, I am uh, in talking about putting a generator and a AC back here. I'm talking about putting the AC back here. I'm talking about to put the generator on the outside. Just want to make that clear. Okay, I've un I haven't unplugged anything. I've taken the door off. Uh, that little this little silver bolt in here is where the oil is is supposed to come out of when I drain it. And I just pushed with my finger a little rubber uh, pad down there to open up the gap to the bottom that'll let it drip into the pan. This is my pan. So let me see if I can get this. Sorry for the jitteriness. I'm, I'm, using, I'm only using one uh, using one hand and. Alright, after a struggle hard as it should be, the oil is pouring out of there, or dribbling out. I should have started this thing up, but I'm not in a place where I can right now, so I'm just going to let it drain here for a while, and then come back later. Uh, well, it's been, uh, I don't know, a couple of hours, maybe an hour, maybe, yeah, maybe not that much, maybe an hour, hour and a half, since I didn't get a chance to start the generator to make the, uh, the oil more liquid. I had to wait for a while before I came back to check to make sure I got most of the oil out. Okay. Alright. Nope, not a drip, so I should be it should have done alright there. Alright, let me uh millimeter bolt bolt in case you're interested 
And let's see if I can get that back in. See if I can now get this in. show you what I'm doing because I'm just running by feel here. Alright, I got it started. Now I've got to get some 10W30 oil and get and refill it. Not a bad time since we're supposed to have rain for five days. Or each of five days is supposed to rain. Okay. That's good. Uh, so, the eight hour oil change is complete. set of socket wrenches here. Uh, pop that out of the way. What do I do with the... And this. Put this out of the way. And set it to the side. I'll have to stick that in and organize it later. Put it in my tool kit. <laughs> uh, but, that's the oil change. And that's a pretty snazzy way of doing it. If you've got room in your back or in your garage, get one of these uh, pans. I think it costs about, I don't know, 13 12 or $13 from Walmart. And if you're strong enough to set this inverter on top of it, and uh, I am pretty good big, and I guess strong enough to get it up there, then it's a pretty good thing so you could change oil on the fly in the back of the vehicle. So what I need to do now is... Uh, when I have time, I'm going to come out of the building that I'm in right now working, and I'm going to, uh, to take that plastic pan out and put the little screw top back on it. But uh, that's the uh, first oil change.